The dragon appeared before the boy. He reached out and stroked the monster's hand. The dark fur blossomed into color. Then the dragon reached out. The boy obediently climbed into the giant's palm. The two became best friends. They often rode together on the dragon's back. The boy became a treasure in the dragon's palm. The forest became their favorite home. The girl noticed the boy. Curious. She followed him. The boy saw humans his own age. Curious to play with each other's hair. The girl's parents came looking for her. The boy turns and runs in fear. He hit his head. The dragon sensed the boy was in danger. A huge eye opened. Crawled out of the cave. It seemed to be searching for something. He followed the scent. And finally, he leaned against a tree. And when he heard that they had taken the boy, they accidentally toppled the tree. People followed the dragon's footprints to his lair and found signs of human life in the cave. The dragon came right out and scared the people away and followed them, hoping to find the boy. A giant eye opened and realized the boy was gone and the boy woke up and realized he was far from the forest. He had to run back. He came upon a dog barking, so he barked back at him. Then he climbed on top of the car and ran down the driveway, but he hit a dead end and a woman grabbed him. But the boy made a special sound, as if summoning a dragon. The dragon followed the scent to the boy and looked at the sprinklers on the ground. It was a moment of amusement. He looked up and saw the boy's happy face, watching the boy accept his new home. Maybe it was best for the boy to stay here. So the dragon left quietly. The girl, with her father, planned to return the boy to the forest. Without hesitation, the boy walked in. The next moment, he led the dragon out of the lair. A dragon of this size appeared in front of them. They stood in amazement. Suddenly, the dragon is hit by a tranquilizer gun. The dragon just opened its wings and flew into the sky. But the anesthesia kicks in quickly. He fell down from the sky. He was incapacitated. They transported the dragon to a logging mill. Workers came to see the legendary creature. And the lumberjacks planned to use the dragon for money. Two children climbed into the warehouse. They tried to unlock the dragon's chains. But the anesthetic hadn't worn off. People realized something was wrong. When they entered, all they saw was an empty truck. The dragon didn't leave. He's just invisible. It's not safe to go back to the forest. The dragon turns around and sees the car following him. It leapt onto the bridge. It spewed hot flames straight into the air. The bridge couldn't take it and started to collapse. Luckily, the dragon flew up into the sky and sent them back to the ground safely. The boy got on the dragon's back and flew to the forest. One man and one dragon flying. It's like they're back in the days when they were together.